<laughs> okay, Jeremy, give me an update on your projects. All right, we took a Raspberry Pi and got it connected to a relay board with eight uh, relays. And it has its own iPhone app so that you can turn them off and on. Which we will post the code so that you can download this Python app that runs on your Raspberry Pi. Um, and the idea being is that you can connect these eight relays to your car. Um, there we go. So you can connect these eight relays to your car, open and close windows, open and close your trunk, door locks, you can even start the car with it. Um, you know, so you press the button and then boom, the door locks. Press the button again, the door unlocks. Or opens your trunk, locks your trunk, you know, those kind of things. So how do you come up with this idea? This is uh, not an original idea to me, per se. Um, we, we took the NetIO uh, sample application that is on the Raspberry Pi store, which I will show you. However, that, that sample application is just that. It is only a sample, and if you know Python, then you will have no problem uh, altering it yourself, or you can download the one that I altered. Um, okay, so what are we looking at now? Uh, this is the application that is free to download in the Raspberry Pi store that comes installed by default when you install Raspbian uh, version Wheezy. That's actually <laughs> what it's called, Wheezy, on your Raspberry Pi. So when you get a brand new Raspberry Pi, you install uh, Wheezy on the flash card, and then you open up the Pi store and see for free, you can download an application called NetIO. Um, a few tricks to it, but it, it is a Python script that runs as a server on your Raspberry Pi so that you can, you know, use it as a, uh, to turn devices off and on. Um, so by default, it only had one relay, you know, working. So, I altered it so that more than one would work. So you need a Raspberry Pi, a Relay, and an iPhone? Yes. You know what? I would pause it right there because it just crashed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not exactly stable. You know, this is an experiment kind of thing. Well, that's and okay. That's we want the... I'm going I'm to mention is that we are working on that, you know. Well, we want the good and the bad, you know, so let's... Yeah. We want to show everything. It needs to be torture tested and evaluated for what makes it time out. You know, it's, as with many, many things on Linux or, you know, Raspberry Pi, these things are all very, very experimental and very, very beta. Um, I wouldn't call it production ready. I wouldn't call it uh, um, perfect probably be a lot more stable if it was done in C++ or C something. Okay. You know, and, and the syntax of which is very, very similar, you know. So, bringing the Raspberry Pi back up, mm -hmm. and you just run it out of a terminal session. So, so after you've installed the app, Nice. Hello. Hey. Yeah. I install your email. I'll try to find something. So that's how it works. Okay, it's so let's do that again. I mean, if we can't find something, then it will probably happen. I mean, I'll probably have to do it tomorrow. I will. At this point, my days. Okay, so I can actually see these turning on. Turning on and off. Awesome. So an iPhone, Raspberry Pi, and a relay, yep. and that's pretty much it.
done. And that's pretty much so, it. That's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty simplistic. Awesome. But, uh, like I said, you can, from there, connect to the stuff on your car. So next step, is that what we're going to do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I was going to use my uh, my truck as a, the host um, and start, you know, connecting it to things.